Hello everybody, welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus Mod Spotlights. Today we're looking at uh, four different mods. It's going to be a little bit different of a video here. Uh, these four mods are all unique because they all add new bosses to the game, which is something that honestly uh, we need more of to begin with. New bosses, new enemies, uh, stuff that isn't just items, you know? Uh, so I'm pretty excited to check these out. We're going to do them one by one. We're just going to go in as Isaac. Uh, and spawn them in one by one. Our first one here is going to be Blingle. Uh, and Blingle is a new variant of Dingle uh, that is created by Mr. Astro Penguin himself. We all know Astro Penguin. He's modded pretty much every mod on the workshop at this point. Uh, but Blingle is pretty unique. He has a chance if he hits us uh, to have us drop some money. So you know what? Let me give myself uh, the dollar here. Just so that uh, if he runs into us, you can see exactly what happens. Please charge at me, Mr. Blingle. I will say his name and like his look kind of reminds me of the shiny crab from Moana. Here we go. Ready? Bang! We lose our money. Uh, bang! We lose our money. So it kind of works similar to the uh, greed fight. You know, the ultra greed fight and how uh, it plays out. I would love to see... If you could somehow incorporate this mod into the Ultra Greed fight and have him have a chance to spawn some Blingles at you, I think that would be pretty dope. Uh, Blingle also rhymes with Chris Kringle, which I find to be pretty cool. Uh, and otherwise, it's just a really well done mod. It's been chilling at the top of the Steam Workshop. Uh, I've been wanting to find a reason to play with it anyway. But obviously you can't have just a uh, mod spotlight on Blingle here. So... Not much we can do here. I do want to actually, like, manage to kill each boss. You know what? Let's give ourselves at least Magic Mush or something uh, for the next boss. Because we're going to be here all day. The next bosses are they're pretty complex, to my knowledge. Uh, Blingle, I mean, I, I can fight a Dingle any day of the week. Blingle, on the other hand, is, is basically still just Dingle. But these other bosses, they got a chance to really destroy me. Astral Penguin, fantastic mod, buddy. Uh, I would love to see some more Dingle variants in the near future. We can make a whole Dingle collection. That would be a hell of a lot of fun. Okay, let's uh, let's restart here. Let's restart again because I really don't want to be in the dark. There we go. Uh, and then let's give ourselves Magic Mushroom. You're kind of getting some behind the scenes action here because I really don't want to edit this video. Let's spawn ourselves in the Messenger. And this is a uh, mod by Evil Pickle and Spear Killer. And I really don't know what to expect when I hit enter here. So it's got this screen, and there's screens all over. I don't know what I'm supposed to hit. So this this is an adventure in among myself. He just, okay, he played bomb, and he, he spewed a bunch of bombs. So white screens are doing, well, I don't know where to shoot. White screens are spawning enemies. It looks like rainbow screen is the one I hit. I have to find where rainbow screen is, and that's where I deal damage. Okay. I will say, a messenger has a striking resemblance. Oh, Jesus. It's like a bad mom's heart fight, dude. It's actually pretty difficult. I don't know where this guy actually spawns uh, in the game usually, but it's real. Oh, I just walked out of the freaking room. You know what? We're going to take him on again. We know what's going on this time. He does slightly remind me of... Uh, hello. Uh, he does slightly remind me of, say, like, Metaton from Undertale. Which is kind of cool. I don't know if that's supposed to be the case or not, but I, uh, I like making the comparison. But otherwise, you gotta admit, uh, this does stretch the imaginations of the old normal Isaac run. You don't usually imagine having stuff all over the room and different things you gotta hit and... You know, it, it, it's very similar to how, like, the mom fight feels after doing normal boss fights where you just don't really know what's going on and then you gotta figure out, oh, I gotta hit this, I gotta hit that. Like, I'm still actually kind of struggling because I don't... Flashing is the one I hit? Oh, he's got a, he's got a brimstone, too. Like, it's, it's a relatively difficult and complex fight. Uh, I like the random stuff that happens, like the bombs that come uh, or the... The spiky rocks that come. Like, that's about to happen again, and I totally fell for it again. It's a very complex mod. I might die here because I'm bad at life. Uh, but that just shows this boss is no joke. And you should not uh, 
You should not sleep on Metaton 2.0, the messenger here, as a uh, easy to kill boss in this game. There we go. Uh, we did complete him. So pretty cool boss in all honesty. Um, really, I like the concept. I like the art. Everything about it, I'm a pretty big fan of. So uh, let let's give myself some heals here. Uh, infinite HP. We'll just give ourselves that so that we don't die on any of these fights. Uh, and then we'll spawn in the next guy, which is Mahalath. Mahalath. I don't actually know how to pronounce this, uh, but it's by Melon and Quartz. And this guy looks like a behemoth of a human being. There's a Ruthless Mahalath and a regular Mahalath. I'm gonna hope to God that we don't have to fight the Ruthless one. But this guy, oh Jesus, he's got some homing shots. Or at least some curving shots. I don't know if those are actually homing. Oh, this guy's got some nice attacks. Look at the animations on this buddy. Yo, this is pretty dope. And then he just like vomited out. Of, oh, hello, Mr. Uh... Mr. Brightside coming out of my floor, and I've been doing just fine. I know that we can't die, but I still don't want to get hit here. This guy's a complex boss. Holy crap, dude. I did not expect this. <laughs> this is, like, really, really good. It reminds me of a uh, full-on anti-birth boss, boss, to be honest with you. Okay, I, I am curious. 777.1... What in the world is ruthless? Matt. Oh, he's 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 brown. He's fire. He's red. I guy. I guess he's gray is the correct word to say here. He's firing out shots all over. This guy is ruthless. This is a really difficult boss fight. My lord. I should add. Oh Jesus, that was like freaking contagion looking BS right there. I should add these new bosses to the road to a million percent. Let me know what you guys think. Should I add some new bosses to the road to a million? Make things a little bit more interesting. Uh, I think that they replace bosses in the game already. That's how it works. Uh, because they can't... The modding API isn't set up to have new bosses in the game. So they just replace some of the bosses that are in there. But this fight is so much more complex. I would have died like eight times over, by the way. This is so much more complex than a uh, normal Isaac boss kind of fight. It's so good. Uh, it's actually... So, so good. Melon and Quartz. Guys, you guys have made a phenomenal mod here. I, I really do like it. Uh, it's pretty dang good. Awesome work. Let's uh, let's spawn in the next guy. Let's do just a quick stage one here so we can get rid of the burn marks all over the floor. And we got our final boss for this video, uh, which is going to be the Fire Starter. And there are some people that have made some connections to the Fire Starter. First of all, this is a mod by Sid. It's just by Sid. Uh, Sid, cool. You made the fire starter. But he looks oddly like the rain maker from Anti-Birth. So the fire starter and the rain maker. Uh, you see what they did there, huh? Let's spawn this bad boy. Let's see what he can do. Uh, I like that little animation right there. His HP is really, really low. He spawns out fire. He spawns out fire. I, that that That's the big kicker here. He spawns out fire. Let's spawn, uh, like, six of them. This should be fun. Now we got six fire starters. I think this guy's the first floor boss that can appear in the burning basement. Uh, it's a lot more difficult when you... Oh, Jesus Lord. Yeah, okay. It's a lot more difficult when you have six of them, by the way. Or seven of them. But it's also a lot more difficult when you don't have dust touch magic mush on the first floor. Uh, it's a pretty balanced enemy, in my opinion. I think it's pretty good. Uh, they fire out shots, they fire out fires. Keeps with the theme, I believe. Yeah, it appears on Burning Basement. So it's kind of uh, thematically fitting there. I think he's pretty good. I want to fight him just a couple more times here. Just because I feel like we didn't give him the fair shake. We gave Metaton the fair shake of a lifetime. My bad, Messenger. I'm pretty much always going to call it Metaton for the rest of my life. I like the fact that he has some little horn sounds as well. Uh, I know it's not exactly little horn, but you can tell that it's kind of based off little horn. Uh, and I can see, you can see like boss rush there being a little horn fire starter uh, combination. And this is the kind of stuff. In all honesty, this is the kind of boss that I could see Edmund looking at the uh, Steam Workshop and going, "How about I just add this new boss to the game?" And everybody would be super hyped about having a new boss. Honestly, any of these bosses uh, would be 
fitting things for the game. Messenger, it's not thematically all there, uh, but I could still see it as a random chance on the uh, chest or something having the messenger appear and he drops a certain specific, you know, he drops a technology item or something like that. There's a lot of really great ideas there, and these are the kind of mods that uh, I like spotlighting. I know I haven't really done these before, but these are mods that not a lot of people see because it's not items, it's not characters, uh, it's new bosses, and that's something that's really, really cool. Uh, I know this was a shorter video, but I hope to God that you enjoyed this. Uh, if you have some mods that you want me to check out, be sure to leave them in the comment section down below. I'd be happy to go check them out, uh, see if I could do a little review of them and play along with them. This was fun. It really was. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya!